Hello and welcome back to Elm Creek on Farming Simulator 22 and also part 2 of how to get the maximum yield from your crop. So in the first part we were talking about how to maximise the yield and we're using the field just over there um, and we did pretty well. We got it up to, well I think we started off with 1,135 litres from a field that needed ploughing, lime, pretty much all fertiliser. So that, that was canola uh, and we, t we pumped it up to 1,950 litres from that small field. So obviously if scaling that up that would be pretty good. Definitely the right way to go. But I got a few comments um, in the comment section of that video and I also got quite a lot of views and likes. So I really do appreciate all that. Uh, but the comments did ask a few good questions. So I thought in this episode or this second part, should I say, uh, we'll answer a few of them and we'll see if we can optimize it even more. Um, so I have done a few tests. Um, let's start off over here with the plowing uh, because I just wanted to point out something about the stone sizes. So I've been playing on the French map that I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'll completely butcher it, but we all know which one it is. It's the other map uh, instead of this one on Elm Creek. Um, and I was doing some bigger fields on that and I was creating my own fields, um, basically trying to make grass fields. Um, so I started off and did some plowing, but I used a bigger plow and I found that the whole field was giving me larger stones. They were completely different to these stones um, and by going over with a roll it didn't get rid of it so I had to pick them up the, with the stone collector and by doing that I changed it to the cultivated state and then I'd need to roll it anyway because I wanted the 5% bonus um, and it just made me think about what determines um, what kind of stone size you're going to get is it the plow size is, if I use a, a bigger plow is it deeper is it picking up bigger stones um, and I have tried it on this field itself and I've used the bigger plow over there I've used the small plow on this part and they're all still small stones so I think it's the layout of the land I think there's certain areas on maps um, that have if you start plowing in them fields you're going to bring up bigger stones um, and you're also going to bring up smaller stones in certain areas so this area here is, is giving me small stones that's what I um take from it now i'm not 100 percent certain on that but i am pretty confident that it's got to be that because it's definitely not the plow size um it's definitely definitely not the difficulty because i changed it up to hard um so it th i think personally it's got to be the state of the field so the, the land that you're plowing it must have a, a bit like precision farming does it has a different uh, soil type for example think of it like that um that's how i'm thinking it so Certain parts, certain maps, I imagine you're going to pick up small stones and then obviously uh, larger stones. So that's something to point out because obviously if you're getting large stones, you need to get rid of them by picking them up with the collector, uh, the stone collector. Uh, if you've got the small stones, you can roll them back into the ground. Now, they aren't going to have a negative effect on your yield, but they are, they are going to have a negative effect on your tractor, which then costs you money because you're going to have to repair it, which to me, I'm classing as a negative buff on a profit of a, of a field when we harvest it because you've got to take that into account as a cost uh, so for me it is a negative you want to pick up those stones because if you're damaging your vehicles you're obviously going to have to repair that so that's my first point about stones <laughs> and plowing so let's move on to the next bit which is someone put in the comment section about can you just go straight to rolling after you've plowed and i thought it was a brilliant question that i never thought about and the main reason i didn't think about that is because fundamentally it's always been plow cultivate and then plant or seed put your seeds in so um i thought to myself let's try this out so in this field here i had a load of i plowed it up and i had a load of small stones i got the stone collector as you can see here and i've gone through just a little bit which is picked up the stones and also put it into a cultivated state so then i'd need to roll over this so if you got large stones you're gonna you, you pretty much need to roll anyway but you can miss out the cultivator so in the second row, I've, I've used a disc harrow. So this is straight after plowing. As you can see, it's not got rid of the small stones. So I'd need to go over it again with the roller. Um, now, the problem I've got with this bit is by using a disc harrow, it doesn't leave it in a cultivated state. It actually leads it in the seedbed state. So if we just quickly open up the map, you can see that it's green, which means it's the seedbed. So if I go over it now with a roller, all it's going to do is it's going to just hopefully which I haven't tried, but I will do that now because I'm thinking, is it because it's already in the seedbed state, would it actually get rid of them? Because if you're using a disc harrow, it's going to have a negative effect anyway um, on the weeds because it means that they'll grow back quicker because it's basically just 
turning the top layer of the soil, whereas a plough and a cultivator gets a bit deeper down. Um, so that is a good point. So I will try that in a minute, but the point on the disc arrow is it doesn't leave it in a cultivated state, it leaves it to the seabed. So you could then just go straight to planting, um, but remember you haven't got the 5% buff from rolling anyway. So if you use a, a disc arrow, you then, in my opinion, you pretty much need to go and roll it. But this is something we should probably keep in mind if using a disc arrow, it brings the weeds back up quicker. It just touches the top surface of the soil, doesn't get rid of stones, and it leaves it in a seedbed state. Whereas if you use a, a, a stone collector, you're leaving it in the cultivated state. So the last thing I did from plowing was go over it straight from rolling. So I completely bypassed the cultivating part um, and it worked. So there is no point in cultivating. So the way that I did it in the first part, we can be more efficient by straight away just missing out the cultivator. So we'd go from mulching to plowing and then from plowing to rolling, um, unless we had large stones, that is. If we had large stones, we'd have to pick them up, which would then put it in the cultivated state anyway, and then we'd go over it to get that 5% buff from the roller. So I just wanted to point this out. To be more efficient, I think the best route to go is obviously mulch if it's a harvested field that you're already working on then to get the bonus from that then we're going to go to plowing if it needs plowing from plowing you can skip straight to rolling if it's just small stones however if it's large stones you need the collector which is going to put it in a cultivated state and then from there you want to go over it with the roller to bring that five percent buff back so with that all in mind i know that's a lot to take in probably um we're going to try it out on this field with it with canola exact same time of year september same type of field and we're going to start it again but this time what we've done is we've put some beehives on each corner okay so you've just seen me add the beehives on the end of the fields um, and it increased the uh, yield just by a tiny amount uh, so what i've been doing now uh, in between when i started recording that and this bit that i'm recording now it's just been looking one at the comment section I really do appreciate everyone's comments they've, they've asked a lot of good questions um, but also I've been looking at the game files and I did find an XML about the bees and it did state that the percentage was 0 0.05, not 5%, so it's a bit of a difference. It's 0.05. Uh, so would we, that would make sense why we only got 50 litres extra. Now, obviously, if you're doing a big field, that could be you know an increase and it is maybe worth doing in small areas. So it is, it is an increase in yield. It's definitely a buff, but it's a very small buff at that. Um, now... I have been looking at the comment section and I've seen a few about mulching and I've seen a few about the rolling and they've all been asking good questions. Now, rolling in real life, as I've always known it, is always done after you plant because it kind of compacts the seedbed, uh, makes them stronger when they're regrowing. It's a bit like when they put a chain harrow or a roller uh, over grass. Uh, usually it kind of just takes off the dead grass on top with a chain harrow, but then they roll it because it uh, compacts the surface, the grass springs back up stronger um, and i think that's the same idea when it comes to crop so i have been looking on the actual uh, farming simulator website for the bit of more information because it doesn't really give you much in the game so this is why i'm testing things out and trying to find and obviously trying to optimize and find the best maximum yield and the way to go and i think and this might be something completely different to what we've done but i think the actual five percent buff for rolling doesn't come un unless you roll after you've planted the seeds. So we're going to try this out, but I'm also going to try out not mulching just to see if there's any difference. Now I'm not going to put the beehive in around the edge. I'm only going to do that on the one that I'm going to roll after planting seeds. So that's going to be hopefully my maximum. That's going to be the best one. That's that's me, fingers crossed. Uh, but we're going to see if there's an issue with the mulching because it does state that you should get a 5% buff if mulching from like a crop here, for example, that's been harvested. That That's what it states. And if it isn't working, then there's obviously a little bug there. It's got to be. So I'm going to test that out, but I'm going to do it on a bit of a time lapse. And I have saved the game at this point. So then I'll come back to this exact point and we'll try it out properly. Bit of beehives. We'll get the rolling done after planting in the canola and we'll see if there's a difference. And then we can actually finally answer the questions as well. Um, is it best to roll before or after seeding? Does it actually have an impact if you do it before or after? Or is it just working one way and not another? Uh, and then we'll also answer the question about the mulching. So we do need to keep in mind that we got 1,950 without the beehives when mulching. So we're going to see if we get less when we don't mulch. If we don't get less, then we know there's an issue with mulching. I would keep in mind, though, if there is an issue, I would still do it because at the end of the day, they should fix that. 
and it is the right way to do it. So I'll crack on. I'll do a small time lapse. I'll cut in between when I'm skipping the time, obviously, um, in between like my fertilizing and uh, harvesting and stuff like that. I will make sure it is a short time lapse and then I'll cut back in right at the end and we'll see if we have taken a hit or if it is the exact same when mulching. Right, so I've done all that. That field's completely now ready to harvest. Um, just didn't mulch beforehand, so it'll be interesting to see what the yield's like compared to the time, the first time I did it when we did mulch and um, we got 1,950. Now, I have been trying out as well over here a bit of a strip that we're going to probably take into effect when we do the next test, which is about the rolling that I was on about. Um, I just want to point out as well, the cultivator that I'm using over there, there is two types of cultivators. If you go into the menu, you'll see when um, looking at, where are they? Um, there we go, cultivators. So you can see that these, for example, here. So this one here, it actually says cultivator prepares fields for next sowing. Now that's just a normal standard cultivator. But there's also this one, this is shallow cultivator, and it says shallow cultivators are used for shallow cultivation or seed bed creation of fields. So there is two types, just to be aware of. One's going to leave the seed bed effect, the other one's just going to leave the standard cultivator. Now I've gone with the cultivator one on this test in here because um, I was just trying some, some something out, basically. Um, so on this side here, up to this point, this is rolled twice. So I mulched it, ploughed it, Got rid of the stones by rolling it once, planted in the canola, then rolled over it again, which it did change the texture, which was interesting to see, um, and then obviously fertilised it and all that good stuff. However, this one, I just did the once, so I rolled after planting, but it didn't get rid of the stones, as you can just make out. So it's good to know that you do have to roll twice. If you want to get rid of the stones, you can't do it after planting. Uh, by rolling over it after, it seems like that's going to have the, the bonus effect. So I'm hoping that it is right. And that rolling after is where the bonus comes in. So it will be good to see that in a second. But first, what I'm going to do, because uh, this video is probably going to go over uh, what I originally intended it to do, because uh, this is now two days worth of little bits of recording uh, of me uh, trying to answer some questions in the comments section from part one. Uh, but also, yeah, just thinking about what's the best way to go. Um, and, and I'm learning as well along the way, as well as everyone else. So I'm hoping at the end, though, We'll have a definitive answer whether mulching is working or not, because I know it's supposed to be. 
it is supposed to be giving a 5% buff um, but if it isn't then obviously we've got a bit of an issue there um, and also should you be rolling before should you be rolling after or should you be doing both so I'll crack on I'll get this field all harvested I'll cut back in just before I'm about to harvest up the last amount and we'll see what yield we get but right now it's actually looking like it's not taking too much of a hit So as you can probably tell, I got 1,925, which really doesn't actually answer. It really doesn't. I've obviously got more for mulching, but is that the right amount? I'm going to take from that the mulching is obviously giving me a bit more. Um, it really is difficult to say definitively if that is, because that's only 25 um, litres difference. Right, so let's uh, crack on with the next bit. This is the one that I'm hoping will give us a proper good yield, the best one we've had yet. Um, so I'm going to jump out, start again from the save point. Um, I will cut the first bit out, but what I am going to do is I'm going to mulch it, I'm going to plough, I'm going to spread lime, and at that point I'll cut back in. Right, so that's that done. I'm all prepped and ready to go. Um, I've mulched it, ploughed it, and then spread some lime. And you can see the small stones again. I've put all the beehives around the field. Um, so that should give us the 0 0.05 bonus from bees on canola, sunflowers, or potatoes. And uh, yeah, we're going to roll it because it's small stones back into the ground. And then we're going to plant and roll again. Now, if this was large stones, you'd obviously use your collector. That would put it in a cultivated state. Then you'd plant, then you'd roll. That's the best way to go about it from what I can gather. Now, we'll check at the end if that's confirmed. If we do get a higher yield, then that's the right way to go. So the rolling's pretty much got to be done either before to get rid of the small stones, but then after to get the bonus of compacting the uh, seed bed. When this field's harvested, when we know all this information from what we're doing right now, I'm then going to actually try it again to see if I can get an even better yield because of the fact that I have a feeling that because I'm mulching but then I'm ploughing, I'm resetting the field. Because this field already, when we start off, needs ploughing, needs lime, I think it could be resetting that mulch uh, that we do it, uh, when we're ploughing. Now, I'm not 100% certain on that. I do need to test it to find out. But I would be interested to see um, what happens to the yield when we're working in a field that doesn't need ploughing, doesn't need lime. Um, and we've just harvested it from a crop that we've planted in and obviously done all this hand, this stuff beforehand. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see that. So I will be going after this and doing that. Right, so let's get the roller out because we have got some small stones, so we need to get rid of them. Um, I will try and keep it short because I have, like I said, this is a video now mashed up of two days worth of uh, recordings. Right, so I'm rolling up, putting the stones back in the ground. Um, it's not going to take me long at all. Um, we'll plant then, and then I'll uh, get rolling again. So it's all planted in. As you can see, I will just point that out for you. You see it's growing, and it's canola, as you can tell there from the colour. Um, it just needs fertiliser, and then we're going to roll over it now. So I will show you the change in texture. You can just about make it out. It is subtle. But it's definitely changing. So I'm hoping this now will give us a buff. The 5% buff that I've been thinking we're having um, from rolling. But it needed to be after. So there's like two uses from this roller. One's to get rid of small stones. And the other is to obviously compact the seed bed. And uh, give us a buff of 5%. Now that's... Hopefully now all working properly. I want to got it right this time. So I'll finish off doing this. I'll also fertilize the field twice. I'll cut back in just before harvest and hopefully we'll see a big difference. And uh, yeah, and it's all paid off. Right, so here we go. It is July and it's ready to harvest. Did do it a month before, but that shouldn't have any impact on the comparisons. But let's get this uh, done, and we'll find out exactly where the yield compares now we've rolled it after we've planted. I am hoping that it is going to give us an increase. This should be the best one with the bees on the side. Fingers crossed. I'll carry on, 
and I'll cut back in just before I'm on the last little bit and we'll have a look and just to see where we compare. Right, so there we go. I got 2,022 litres, so that is the maximum. That's the highest I've ever got it. So 2,022 litres from this field of canola. Let's just have a look at the state of the field. You can see that it's harvested now and it's got no fertiliser. So that is interesting. Definitely proves that, um, for me, that using bees, but not just that, um, rolling after you've planted does increase yield. And this is all going to scale up. So that so far is the best one we've got. Um, now, I am interested now to find out what would happen if we then replant canola on this. It doesn't need ploughing, as you can see. It doesn't need lime, as you can see as well. Uh, so will the weeds grow back? Um, and also, will the mulching have a, a bigger effect because of the fact we're ploughing after we've mulched? Does it reset? Well, hopefully this will answer them questions. So obviously I'm not going to show you the whole thing again, but I will talk to you exactly what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is mulch. So after mulching, I'm going to have to cultivate the ground. I can't skip straight to rolling because of the fact I didn't plough this time around. So we're going to have to cultivate it and because of that it's going to bring up some small stones probably. Then I'm going to roll the small stones back into the ground. After this, I'm going to start planting the canola again. And then I'm going to roll the seabed one more time to try and get that 5% buff. And I'm also going to keep an eye out for weeds this time. Will they grow back? And if they do, I'm going to take care of them by spraying some herbicide. Then I'm going to start fertilizing. I'm going to do this two times. Right, so after hours and hours of testing, this is going to be the final test. Uh, this is after a harvested field that I'd planted. Um, it didn't require ploughing, didn't require uh, lime at all. So we're going to see if there's any difference. I rolled it in the same way, so I rolled it before to get rid of the small stones and after planting as well. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this turns out. Right, so it's the last little bit. We're about the same, 1,800 it is climbing. If we get more than 2,022, which I don't think it will be. I think it'll be, if anything, very close to the same. So there you go, 2,024. That is the most I've ever had. Uh, but I think that confirms that if, if you're mulching and then plowing, I think it's the same effect. So there isn't any difference between the two. But yeah, 2,024 litres, that's the most we've ever had. Um, and it goes to show that... Um, you definitely need to put lime down and uh, make sure you're ploughing as well at the same time if you need it. Uh, but it doesn't have an effect. Uh, the weed did grow back though, so that was interesting. So I think it is after you've uh, put lime down on the ground the first time, then you don't get any weeds. But I did get weeds, so I had to sort them out. But I think that's that. I have done quite a few tests now. I put some hours into this. Uh, I have learned quite a lot as well. Um, hopefully you have too and you found the video useful. Remember it is it's still early days, things could change, Giants might make some updates and, and it might be completely different going forward. Um, but right now I think the best route to go is to follow um, making sure that you've got your field ploughed, you've also got it limed up obviously and then to get rid of your stones so you don't have a negative effect on your equipment um, and then make sure you're planting, rolling again for a buff, using the mulcher beforehand as well for a buff and if you're doing canola, sunflowers or potatoes, you can also get a small tiny buff uh, by putting uh, some uh, beehives around the fields. Um, remember, they do have a distance, 150 on this. So I don't know how many you'd have to plant if you've got a massive field, but you could still get a small buff in certain areas. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good to learn. And hopefully you found the video useful and informative. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And also, if you're new, Hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.